So welcome to the Fraunhofer Institute for Microintegration and Reliability, which was founded in 93 in cooperation with the Technical University of Berlin with a research focus on technologies of microperiphery and with a personnel of only 21 researchers. Since then, an intense growth has been achieved both topic and personnel-wise, and so we have four different research focus areas. The research focus areas are wafer-level system integration, environmental and reliability engineering, system integration and interconnection technologies, and RF and smart sensor systems. We have three locations, the headquarter in Berlin, and two subsidiaries, one in Dresden, the IZM ACID, and in Cottbus, the RF sensor systems. The department wafer level system integration includes about 40 full-time employees and 30 students, organized in four groups alongside the process line, and another two groups, which are focused on photonic and plasmonic systems and microsensor development and integration. Our technology portfolio is especially needed in the area of heterogeneous integration which is the basis for numerous emerging packaging technologies. Why is that particular technology of major interest at the moment? With further downscaling, design and production costs of such highly integrated microprocessors are increasing from node to node due to the development of specific steps, in particular lithography. More transistors per area are being crammed into one single die and the cost per transistor increases with every new technology node. On the other side, commercial yields are not keeping up with the pace with the operational costs and enormous capital investments when switching to new technology nodes. Moore's law is decelerating in the last couple of years and further miniaturization and scalability is hitting a wall, be it for physical or economical reasons. Our portfolio delivers the process building blocks for system integration in all its facets. And thus we have activities in the area of fan-in, fan-out technologies, 2.5D 3D integration, X-ray and infrared detectors, photonic system integration, sensor system integration and high performance computing. Applications like self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, for example for biomedical applications, neuromorphic computing or optoelectrical systems are the key drivers for the development of new technologies, just to name a few. This technology now reaches a limit somehow. So the solution for that could be that only the major SOC in an in a electrical system is manufactured on the modern node size and all the other subsidiary dies you can implement in such a system are manufactured on larger nodes. This technology is then called chiplet technology, which means you have on several separate silicon dies only special IP blocks. In that way, you can also increase the yield in your production and you have only the risk for the most modern node sizes. And therefore, heterogeneous integration plays a major role because there you can integrate such chiplets on one silicon interposer and into one electrical system. The clean room I will show you is built according to the Bay and Chase concept and has a class 5 according to the ISO standard. So please follow me. And now we are in the clean room with a new dress where all the technology happens. The process sequence usually starts with a passivation. In this case here, it's a thermal oxidation, but LPCVD, PCVD or organic passivations are available too. For the structuring of the TSVs, for instance, a deep reactive ion etching process is used. By switching of etching and passivation gases, an anisotropic profile is generated, enabling aspect ratios of 10 or above. The lithography is one of the key processes in the whole line as it defines the minimal resolution of the structures. There are plenty of positive and negative resists in polymers like PI or BCB to choose from, allowing various geometry and material combinations. With a state-of-the-art laser direct imager, feature sizes smaller than 1 micron can be realized on wafers or panels. Standard mask exposure systems can be used down to approximately 3 to 5 microns on wafer substrates with diameters up to 200 mm. Electroplating is used for the routing of different electrical signals or to generate pet metallizations on the interposer. 
A variety of materials are available, mainly depending on the metal finish of the dies or the wafer materials that are used. Automatic optical inspection allows to identify defects on the wafer that only good known dies are used for assembly. The assembly of single chips onto the wafer is typically used for interposer assembly. However, you can choose other options like parallel transfer bonding for the assembly process. Thank you very much for your interest in our technology and about the topic heterogeneous integration on wafer level. If you have further questions, please contact me via email or go on our homepage. There you can find more information. Thank you very much.